What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys go and click the subscribe button. And if you guys are not new, hello, welcome back, happy Friday. So for today's video, I'm basically just gonna be vlogging. I have a lot of cleaning to do around the house. I haven't really done anything that I'm supposed to do in like a week and a half. I've just been really lazy. So basically I'm just gonna clean and I'm just gonna get some stuff done. And I thought I'd just show you guys my normal cleaning process because you guys liked my closet clean out video. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I clean the living room, office, kitchen area. I also might have a DIY project at the end of this. Not sure yet. Um, if you guys like this kind of video and you want to see more of me cleaning or organizing, let me know down in the comments because I'll totally do that and I really enjoy doing these videos. So please let me know. I'm starting with this area. It's disgusting. I know. You don't have to tell me. So there's just shit just everywhere over here. Honestly, it's just a mess. Crap ton of shoes. The entertainment center is disgusting. Like I just need to dust and wipe stuff off and vacuum and pick up. So I'm just gonna bring you guys with me for that. So yeah, Let's just get on into this. I just wanted to say really quick that this thing, this cable, really irritates me. It's connected to my boyfriend's Xbox and it comes from like the laundry room all the way in there. And he connected it to his Xbox, which he doesn't technically need to connect it to his Xbox. He obviously has enough internet without that connected. So it really irritates me. It's technically supposed to be across the like vent going through to upstairs and he plugged it into his Xbox. So it just sits in the corner of the basement and it's so ugly and it makes me so mad. Every time I see it, I'm like, can we not have this sitting on the floor? Like this but it's fine it's not that serious i'm not gonna throw a fit about it also if you guys did not see my last vlog video that i did where i showed you guys the target haul that i got the line on this still isn't gone first of all it's been weeks second we had our curtains hanging here they keep falling so i literally just took them down and they're literally just hidden behind the couch right now like i literally just threw the curtains down there because they literally will not stay up my grandma was like oh i still don't want you to drill holes blah blah, blah. like i'll find a stronger velcro so i was just like okay i guess i'll just leave it down for a while so 
haven't gotten to that yet. All right, guys, so now that the living room is done, I'm going to start working on my vanity slash clothing area. I have all of these clothes right here that are dirty that I need to throw in the washer, so I'm gonna do that. I need to pick up my makeup area. Kind of a mess. I haven't really done my makeup in a while, but I mean, it's just still, I need to pick this up. I can't just leave it like that. And then this is all stuff I need to take to Goodwill, so I need to throw that in the bag, so. <sighs> All right, let's throw my clothes in the washer and then get to cleaning the other stuff. guys so it's been like an hour my camera actually died on me so i let it charge for a little bit so that i wouldn't have to stop and charge it again um so basically what i did in the hour that i wasn't filming i basically just threw in that second load of clothes into the washer and then i put that first load into the dryer so hopefully that's done by the time i finish this video and now i'm gonna be working on just putting some cords away and stuff in my office area so i'm basically just gonna like put this stuff in the drawers get rid of all this stuff hanging throw some stuff out organize a little bit Okay, so now that I've done my office stuff, I'm probably gonna work on the like kitchen area that's over there. Um, but I just want to say really quick that I don't know if I've actually ever said this on my channel. I know I have on my couple channel. It's hard to remember what I've said on what channel. So me and my boyfriend live in my grandma's basement. So she kind of like put up a wall, redid this area for us. So we're slowly but surely getting things set up and putting stuff together. We've been down here for like a year, but we just haven't really had time or money to fix stuff up yet. Our bedroom is upstairs, but like our living room, our dining room my clothes my vanity the kitchen area everything for us like that is down here we're down here a lot of our time so every video that we do is always down here so we're trying to like slowly add things like buy new furniture that's brighter so it feels nicer it doesn't really feel like a basement um but we're slowly getting the kitchen area together finally so i'm excited about that basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean off the top of this wipe it off go through these drawers and throw food out because i feel like we put stuff in here and forget about it and then it just goes bad really fast. Okay, so I thought I'd just tell you guys really quick before I do anything else that uh, this kitchen area, we actually don't use the microwave or the coffee maker that are over here. They're kind of just for show. We have an entire kitchen upstairs to use with a microwave and a coffee maker. So this stuff used to be in our apartment and then we moved back here with my grandma. We had nowhere to put this stuff and we didn't want to just leave it in the garage. So we used old cabinets and countertops and stuff to make a little like fake kitchenette thing in the basement. And... We basically use this little kitchenette area for food. There's also a mini fridge down there. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's also broken. It just broke though. So we need to buy a new one of those. And then we also covered this countertop with contact paper. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like it's peeling up right here. So I have to fix that still. But this is just contact paper. This, this is not how this countertop looks. I covered this. And then we also bought another thing for over here because this one didn't actually have a top on it. It was just kind of open and I hated it. It's the only thing in this basement that really was irritating me on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we did is we went to Menards and looked in like the clearance section. We basically just found a cabinet door and it's it was the perfect 
perfect length for this. Granted, obviously, this one is like flat and thin, and this one actually has like a back on it, but it's fine. So basically, I'm going to cover this with the same contact paper that I have over there. I already actually have it measured right there. And then we haven't bought it yet, but we are going to buy paint for the brown wood on the cabinets and stuff. And then we're gonna paint that white. So this is gonna be white. These are obviously gonna be this marble contact paper. And then we also bought, if I could get it out of the bag. We also bought this hardware, one for obviously each cabinet. It's just this black, like pretty hardware. And I'm thinking probably like right here on both, obviously, and then for the drawers, obviously, they would just be, like, in the middle right here. But, yeah, they're black, so I'm hoping that that looks really cool with, like, this contact paper and then the white cabinets. So, hoping to do that soon. However, I am going to go ahead and cover this really quick with this contact paper. So, I'm going to time lapse that really quick for you guys because that's going to take me, like, an hour to make it perfect because I'm a perfectionist. So, whew, let's get into that. Okay, so I'm done and I'm super happy with how it turned out and I am so excited. So I finally got a cabinet top. Cabinet top, why do I keep saying that? Countertop, used the cabinet door, covered it in contact paper, and it doesn't look terrible. And I'm kind of loving it. So can't wait to paint these and put the hardware on them, then it'll look even better. But yeah, they're finally done. So super happy about that. I'm not sure what I'm about to do right now. I might relax for a little bit only because I've been doing stuff for YouTube literally all day and I deserve some time to just relax. So I'm gonna relax for a little bit and then when my clothes get out of the washer, I will fold those and then I'll see if there's anything else to do. I'm gonna do that you don't think are gonna bring you happiness and that you, you just oh, pissy grumpy mood and I force myself to do it and then I feel a little bit better every time. The third thing that I want to work on is to work with your excuses, not against them. It is so easy to get wrapped around in your excuses. So I don't know if you guys saw, but I have a Scentsy warmer. I actually have three of them down here because the room is so big. I probably don't need three, but I do have three. So I want to show you guys my three Scentsy warmers and then show you the smell that I put in them. If you don't know what Scentsy is, it's basically wax melts that you put in a warmer and they melt and emit a smell that makes the room that you're in smell good. That's the best description I can give you. Um, it's kids safe, so if you touch it, it doesn't matter. You won't burn yourself. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the um, three warmers that I have down here just because I think they're cute and I want to show them off. So I have this little copper one by the office. It's just sitting up on here. I have this turned around because it has all my video schedule on it. You guys don't need to see that yet. I love this one. This one is so pretty. I used to have it in the living room with the apartment. So I just kind of have this one over here, and it has a little light on the sides. It turns on when the warmer is on. And then I have the one over here. This one is just red, and when it's on, it's pretty. I love this one. This one is literally one of my favorites. I also have, for Halloween, I have this little witch hat one with the little spider dangling from it. I love this one. This one is so cute. This one doesn't light up, sadly, but this one obviously has the light on the side that tells you if it's on. So I'm just going to turn this one on, too, and then you open it here and put the wax in there. I have the same smell in all three of my warmers just because I want everything to be cohesive and I don't want like different parts of the basement to smell different. I have clothesline in there right now. It's my absolute favorite one because it just smells like fresh laundry. I'm sorry I look a mess in this video but it's just gonna happen today. Anyway I have really bad chest pains so I need to go relax. I need to sit down. I don't know what's going on with me but whew. I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I don't think I'm gonna do any more cleaning today just because I've been doing stuff like quite literally the entire day. That's a shoe. I'm just gonna relax. I also still haven't eaten dinner yet and it's like 7 30 so I hope you guys liked watching me clean and order 
organized and do a little DIY contact paper project. If you guys did and you want to see more kind of like this for me, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments. Also, give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you like this content and then I'll do more of it. Also, go and click the subscribe button if you haven't already and then click the bell so you're notified when I upload. I upload every single Friday. I haven't missed an upload yet. I told myself in the beginning that I'd try to upload every Friday and so far I have not missed a Friday. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Anyway, I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I might relax for a little bit because my stomach, oh my God, I almost just broke my ring light.